Leading Kiwi climate scientist Dave Frame says the impact of global warming on New Zealand in 2023 was, being, was like being repeatedly punched in the face. And now we have the research to show it was the same all over the world. Globally, records were broken for greenhouse gas levels, ocean heat, sea level rise and glacial retreat. Our climate correspondent Isabel Ewing has the findings. Kia ora, Isabel. The world is on red alert. That's the warning from the World Meteorological Organization. Its latest report confirmed 2023 was the hottest year on record, 1.45 degrees hotter than the pre-industrial average. El Nino played a part, but the main driver is greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide reached record levels in 2022 and kept rising last year. Sea temperatures are also at a record high on an average day in 2023, nearly a third of the world's ocean was gripped by a marine heat wave. Melting glaciers and ice sheets also pushed sea levels to a record high and Antarctic sea ice cover has lost a chunk the size of France and Germany combined. But there's a glimmer of hope. Renewable energy capacity has grown by almost 50% from 2022. 2019 in Timaru, 10 minutes of thunderous hail, hundreds of millions in damage. But as far as storms go, we hadn't seen anything yet. 2023 in Auckland, widespread catastrophic flooding, waterlogged land sliding over homes and roads. And a week later, Tairawhiti and Hawke's Bay, hammered with record rainfall and gale force winds, displacing thousands and devastating homes, orchards and infrastructure. We're not nimble enough to dodge those, those punches. So we're kind of, at the moment, we're, we're taking them from angles we didn't expect. And now we have the stats that prove how hard those punches were. The latest state of the global climate report shows a planet on the brink. Fossil fuel pollution is sending climate chaos off the charts. In New Zealand, 2023 was a record breaker for weather-related insurance payouts. Auckland's floods incurred 2.23 billion of insured loss, followed by Cyclone Gabrielle causing 2 billion in insured loss. Combined, 2023's weather events cost 20 times more than the previous record holder. And despite all this, Dave Frame says two significant climate change research programs come to an end this year. About $45 million of research over five years is, is finishing. And at the moment, we're not quite sure what's going to replace that. So one's a National Science Challenge, two Endeavour Fund programs. Um, they're on flooding and extreme events. Those concerns echoed by another Kiwi scientist, one who's observed Antarctica's drastically shrinking sea ice while gathering data to better understand past climates. You've never seen the sort of science community sort of work so hard and so fast. I mean, well, you would have during COVID as well, but um, it's, the, it's a really strong collaborative effort to try and um, uh, understand what we're in for in the coming decades. But the climate report held one optimistic record. Renewable energy generation growth has surged at the highest rate in two decades, meaning the goal set at last year's COP28 to triple renewable energy capacity by 2030 is achievable. And a study out today shows offshore wind in New Zealand could contribute 50 billion to the GDP by 2050 tens of billions of dollars of GDP and tens of thousands of jobs. And those jobs will be here for decades. The scaling up of clean energy will be expensive, but as we've seen, the cost of climate inaction is a lot higher. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.